This is the first issue of Donna DC's first big event called Night Terrors, and this is Night Terrors First Blood. So it started off with John D. Right, he up here chilling with his family. Then they turn into motherfucking nightmares and shit, start trying to get on his ass. If you didn't know, John D. is Dr. Destiny, he can control fucking, uh, the, the fucking dream world and shit with a dream stone. So that's what he goes to do. He goes to the Hall of Justice because right now the Justice League is gone. They split up and shit. He goes there to look for his damn uh, Dreamstone so he can fix this reality as you can see right now. But that's when these motherfuckers get on his ass, right? And then he hears something. He's like, what the fuck is that? That's when some screamed at him like, where's the Nightmare Stone? And he was like, you can't have it. No one can. You can't. Don't. Ah! Then we meet up with Boston Brand, a.k.a. Dead Man. He tells us how it's lonely to be dead and stuff, and that really when people die, they usually go to the day and light. Sometimes he gets visitors. Like this dude right here, his ass was 102 years old. As soon as he died, he went to the light. He said that it, uh, he had a lot of people at his funeral that was crying for him. It's a good thing to have people that, uh, you know, they cared about you because he didn't. Boston Brand was a cruel, cocky, and uncaring man. A fearless and uh, death-defying showman. Until he got shot by an assassin in the middle of the air. The goddess Ramakashina tasked him with the afterlife of hunting down his own killer and helping others find peace and justice. But the new role was a lie, and he's just left watching the living, alone and forever. But then he's like, wait, the wind of death blows past, and I feel someone like me. It was Superman, as you see him going to go save people and shit, right? He's like, man, you can't help to smile when he in action. But then that's when Superman got a damn alert on his damn watch, so he dipped off. So Dead Man follows him too. Cause he said it's a presence that he's feeling it's, It isn't Superman though Then he sees one woman And it's the same shit with her It's a presence on her But it's not her So he leaves with her And they follow him He said it's like they haunted She comments Wonder Woman comments on him About working with Lex Luthor right now If you ain't reading Superman Go read it Then Dead Man was like It's not just radiating from Wonder Woman and Superman It's also radiating from the Hall of Justice You see all this shit He said this is bad They're not ghosts Forces from another realm are slip, seeping into our. I must warn Wonder Woman and Superman. So they get in there, right? And they meet up with Batman. Superman's like, shit, glad to know you made it back after that failsafe sent you to that other world. Superman says, glad to know that you made it back after the failsafe sent you to that other world. Wonder Woman says, we thought you might have wanted to take a break after that. He said, what's a day off, says Batman. If you ain't reading Batman, go read that shit. That's this. This is current Batman. So anyway, that, that alert that Superman had on his arm earlier, that was supposed to be to where the Dreamstone at, and only them three supposed to know where it's at. So, uh, Batman says that uh, even the security is so good that uh, even super, Superman can't get through it. Superman says it right here, you want to test that? He says, I already have, you just didn't know it. Anyway, they go up in there, right, and they see John D on the motherfucking thing, and shit, what the fuck is this? And they got to explain it what Dr. Destiny can do. He said he used the uh, Dreamstone to manipulate people's dreams and corrupt reality. He fought the Justice League on multiple occasions. Dead Man was like, I seen my fair share of dead bodies. This ain't no damn dead body. This is what I felt. It's part of what is haunting the three of them. So Harley Quinn called them, right? Calls Batman. And uh, if you ain't reading Harley Quinn, you wouldn't know that they working together. Anyway, Harley Quinn calls Batman. And then she tells him that John D is with them. That he having a, a violent nightmare in the hospital. Batman like, what? We got a body here. He's like, nah, this is what this is him. Batman's like, alright, we'll be there in 15 minutes. Then he's like, look, we should call, if it's magic, we should call Zatanna. That's when Deadman was like, wait, I gotta tell him what's up. So he jumps into Batman's body, right? And he's like, hey, it's not Wonder Woman magic. They're like, Deadman, that's you. Boston, was you here the whole motherfucking time? Listen, the realm of dreams and the world of death are connected, related. You know, like brother and sister or something. What I'm picking up here is primordial, real bad mojo. Something is uh, trapping into the world and it's very dangerous. Get. Oh! <laughs> Batman threw his ass up. He's like, Dead Man says, I heard him. I was fighting off his control the whole time, but when I caught what he had to say, don't ever do that again, Boston. I can't hurt you, but I will help you go into the light. You understand me? Yeah, Bat, sheesh, don't kill the messenger. So they're like, look, it might not be Zatanna, but we'll call, uh, we finna call our ass anyway. Let's go. And then uh, uh, Superman's like, I'm finna go to Supercore and see what the fuck they can do. Let's go. They dip off, right? A girl at the bottom was like, Trinity has left uh, Ground Zero and then the hurry. It was an agent for Amanda Waller. She's like, shit, if they dipping off, and we ain't seen they ass together in a minute. If they dipping off and shit, something's going on. So they go to the hospital and you hear somebody say, don't fall asleep. You can't let them find it. Harley Quinn like, our boy is still in nighty night land, but he seems to know he's in a nightmare. 
He says, if he finds the nightmare stone, it will be the end of everything. Dead man, do you see what's this? What's causing this? Please, his eyes, his eyes. Shh. Batman, like, bro, his body just happened the same way it looked on the damn in the damn Hall of Justice. Harley Quinn is like, you just said that he got killed by a nightmare. He's like, yeah, we good as long as he sleep. Make sure that nobody fall asleep. That's when you seen this little damn shit come out the damn cut. And it took over John D. Body. He got on the damn cell and talking about some Batman, the Dark Knight, hero to the world. You don't operate in the shadows. You merely hide there. You think you're the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Batman throws batarangs at that bitch. <laughs> He's like, man, a bat ring, really? Man, I had a dream one. That the world will finally see superheroes the way that I see them, not as heroes. But as whores. And then you see these fucking things, which are nightmare constructs come to the world. He like, bro, how the fuck is they coming to the world? Dead man says. That's when they's like, Batman, rah! They got to fight no motherfucker. Back over in the Hall of Justice, this damn purple shit started to knock everybody out and go to sleep. Zatonic uh fucking didn't go to sleep because they're magic. Superman while flying, his ass ended up going to sleep from that damn shit. And not only that. Everybody in the world, from the villains and the heroes, started to go to sleep. You see Joker, motherfucking every, even the Flash. Then you see the whole world get taken over by this purple shit. Batman still fighting them things. That's when that purple shit started to coming towards them. Uh, Harley Quinn got knocked out, and he's like, activate emergency uh, protocol. This motherfucker pressed the bat signal on his chest and it activate fucking adrenaline for his ass. So he get the fucking fucking the motherfuckers up fast as hell. Then he get slammed through a fucking wall by the motherfucking spider fucking constructs, uh, constructs. And get knocked out and wake up into the other world like this. Why he knocked out, the spider's finna come. So dead man jump into his body. Then he bite that motherfucker. Get up, spit it. And he's like, all right. I would say it's a crack of joke, but since I'm in Batman's body, I'm gonna be silent. Then he got the whooping ass if you see at the bottom. Then that's when this thing came, right? And then his ass uh, fucking started tripping out. But that's because it was insomnia ass looking for that nightmare stone. And this shit will be continued in the next issue of Night Terrors. And the next issue is Batman issue one, which I already did a video on right here. If you click on this playlist, it'll take you right to it. And I'll have this video in order to be right before the Batman video.